As someone who's owned both the Z Fold 6 new foldable phone from Samsung and the Steam Deck, I have to say I'm enjoying this gaming experience with the Z Fold 6 a lot more than I did with the Steam Deck. So today we're going to talk about why the Z Fold 6 is actually the superior gaming device with one of these controllers versus something like a Steam Deck or any of the other Windows handheld gaming devices like Arch Ally, Legion Go, MSI Claw. And I've actually been really impressed with the gaming capabilities on the Z Fold 6, especially when you get an Android controller that connects with it. And as you can see, I'm playing Diablo Immortal here, the mobile version. And even though it's a mobile game, this is actually pretty close to the PC version of Diablo 4. And it is quite enjoyable. You got all of the addictive gameplay that you can find in the PC version. And yes, it is a bit slimmed down, is a bit dumbed down compared to its PC counterpart, but it's still an enjoyable experience to play games on this device. And here we have Call of Duty, the mobile version. And I have to say this game looks absolutely stunning for a mobile game. And it plays just just like the PC game, you run around, you shoot people, you reload, you can pick up items. It doesn't really feel like it's a mobile game. It just feels like it's a PC shooter on a mobile phone. Yeah, obviously it's been slimmed down and toned down a bit so it runs better on the mobile phones, but you can still get a good and enjoyable fun experience when gaming on these mobile devices. I feel like mobile games have come a long way over the past years and the graphics and the gameplay of these recent mobile games are starting to look like something that resembles more of a proper PC game rather than just some tacky rubbish gimmicky mobile game. Obviously this is quite a pricey device here. It's about £1,800 for the base model or $2,200 and obviously the Steam Deck is way cheaper coming in at around $500 or less I think and I think the ROG Ally is also like five or six hundred dollars so yes these windows handheld devices and the steam deck are a lot cheaper and they play pc games whereas this only plays android mobile games but i still feel like this is a much better device than having a steam deck and here's why so first of all, let's talk about the price. Yes, this is nearly a $2,000 setup, but if you think about it, if you need a phone, which everyone needs a phone, everyone has to have a phone. So obviously you need a phone, plus you want a gaming device and you're thinking of getting a Steam Deck. So you get like a thousand pound phone, like S24 Ultra or iPhone 15 Pro Max. And then you also add on top of that the Steam Deck, which is like £500. It's going to be roughly the same price anyway. The Steam Deck plus your phone is going to equate to around roughly the same amount of money as it would cost to just get one of these Z Fold 6s. So you're not really saving money by getting a Steam Deck unless you don't get a phone. And then what are you going to do? Just use your Steam Deck as your only phone? I mean, you could use the Steam Deck as a phone because it's got internet, it's got browsers, you can download programs and stuff. You can even put Windows on it if you know how to. And it could become like a portable pocket phone that doesn't have any kind of cellular connection. You just use Wi-Fi calling, some kind of Wi-Fi hotspot, and then maybe it could become more than just a gaming device. But the Steam Deck has been built from the ground up to be primarily a gaming device. So I guess my point is, you can get along in life without a Steam Deck or a personal gaming handheld device, but I don't really think many people can say they can survive in modern day life without a phone. You need a phone. So if you're gonna get a phone, you might as well get a phone that can game instead of having a phone and a gaming handheld and a tablet. This is basically, I mean, this is basically a phone, a tablet and a gaming handheld device all rolled into one device. So obviously, yeah, you're gonna have to pay a premium price for that. And I think definitely worth it because when I go traveling, I don't wanna pack my backpack and pack a tablet and pack a gaming device and pack a laptop and pack my phone. That's like four things got packed into my backpack. With this, I don't have to pack anything into my backpack. I just have to pack this. So if there's certain PC games that you want to play and you only want to play these games, then yeah, you might have a tough time adapting to a mobile gaming device, but you can also get, you can always get Xbox Gaming Pass and do cloud gaming if your internet's good enough. And then you can play any game that's on the Xbox Gaming Pass on your cloud-based computer, I mean, Android phone that has Xbox Gaming Pass installed onto it. Obviously not every game is on Xbox Gaming Pass and there might be some games that are on Steam that you can't get anywhere else apart from Steam. And then I guess you might have no choice but to have to get a Windows gaming device. But if you can adapt to the Android mobile gaming ecosystem, I think you'll find many games that could scratch your itch. 
So for example, if you want to play a shooter, you can play Call of Duty. If you want RPGs, you've got Genshin Impact, your Final Fantasy games on Android Play Store. You've got Diablo Immortal. You've got some roguelites. You've got XCOM 2. You've got loads of games, strategy games. Rome, I think, is on it. And also Total War games are on it. So you've got loads of choice and variety when it comes to Android gaming. When it comes to the battery performance, obviously this Steam Deck can't have a very long battery life because it's got fans and it's a much more beefier, powerful system. So the battery isn't going to last as long as something like a mobile device. Mobile device will allow it to game for probably four to five hours heavy gaming, maybe three hours at minimum, but the Steam Deck can probably last like two hours, maybe only an hour and a half if you do heavy gaming with high graphics and the system's going full speed. So I had an ROG Ally and I could only game on that at full power with all the fans going for maybe 40 to 50 minutes, maybe even 30 minutes depending on the game. And that's pretty rubbish. I can get like at least five hours of solid gaming out of this before I have to charge it. And if I play lower graphical fidelity games, like 2D games, I could probably squeeze, I don't know, over six hours of gameplay on this without having to charge it. Obviously there's no fan, so it does get very hot here, but you can always buy a fan. There's plenty of mobile phone fans that attach to the back and give you some kind of cooling. So the great thing about mobile phones is by default, they come very basic out of the box, but you can customize them. You can add a controller, you can add a fan to the back. You can add all kinds of stuff to the phone to make it into whatever device you want it to have. It's kind of like a chameleon because you can customize it and create it into or mold it into whatever you want to create it into. So the reason why I decided to buy this phone instead of a Steam Deck, for example, is because I want a nice phone and I don't want to have loads of devices, loads of multiple devices to do different things. I want to do everything I want to do on the same device so that I don't have too much stuff cluttered around in my room. And it's nice to have a nice phone that does basically 99% of what you want to do. Okay, it can't do, it can't take photos and videos as good as a dedicated camera. It can't play games as good as a dedicated handheld gaming device. It can't really do things as well as a dedicated tablet or laptop, but it can do all of those things good enough for me, all rolled into one package, which I think is definitely worth it. So yeah, I decided to get this instead of a handheld gaming device. I guess my main wish and desire would be one day phones will become powerful enough to the point where you can just have Steam on the phone and download PC games onto your phone instead of having to have these watered down Android versions, mobile versions of popular games. I think it'd be so great if Steam, for example, made a Steam phone and it had Steam on it and it was like running Linux OS and you could play, I don't know, Hades 2 and uh, whatever game that's popular on Steam could play on the phone and it should be able to work like that. I think in the future, as technology improves, the mobile phone technology will become so powerful that we will be able to play PC games on our phones. And Apple's making great advances in that zone. So they've got that new graphic chip on the iPhone 15, which actually lets you play console games like Resident Evil 4. So it can be done. It's just that developers need more incentive and more encouragement to port their games over onto mobile. And then we can have the best of both worlds. We can have a nice mobile device that actually plays all the games and we don't have to pick and choose or sacrifice anything.